here we are back in Austin's garage and as you can see his car has arrived in many pieces. Many, many, many pieces. Try to keep this as smooth as possible but I don't have my gimbal on me so just bear with me here. As you can see obviously with the Daytona R there are a lot of bars in here. Uh, the car isn't going to be red. It, this is just a finish after it's in, out of the mold, right, Austin? It is. That's just a gel coat. To... So the red is just a gel coat out of the mold. Yeah, just to protect it until we sand it, prep it, paint it. Yep. Just a rough finish until then. So as you can see, here's the cockpit in its bare form. really all that complicated in there just a whole bunch of bars bunch of aluminum panels that we have to remove yeah so you were saying on these panels you were going to get them removed in powder coated black and then carpet over it I don't I don't know if we're gonna carpet or not but we're definitely gonna powder coat them all black uh, so we'll drill them out prepare them for rivets before we powder coat them and we'll take them all to powder coat at the same time as the chassis it looks like the chassis is raw as well, so that'll have to get powder coated. Think you're gonna go with like a gunmetal? I'd like to. I think it'd look cool. Like a gunmetal or a graphite color. Mm -hmm. and tonight we're probably gonna be trying to throw that motor over there in here and start test fit and stuff, so include some of that. Yeah, they are pretty cool looking. So you're going to go with the holly? I am. I'm going to bite the bullet, spend the money, and go with holly. That's a good call. I really like Travis's setup. And here we have our Ninja Turtle mechanic. <laughs> you do have a Ninja Turtle helmet on. I was just riding my bike. You're just riding your bike. And apparently we were being passed by a GTR. <laughs> Done. You got it. Thank you, sir. So now we are going to be test fitting the motor, as you can see on the right hand of the screen. I'm going to flip around so I can help out. So this is the uh, piece by Motion Works that is holding up the motor. And as you can see, we'll be dropping it in there just for a test fit. So what configurations could go in here? You can go up to like a 427 or something? Yeah, you can use the 427, the old small blocks, mod motors. That should clear. Yep. Further back. Okay. 
Right Starting there. Yep. I think that's close. Got to watch out for those bolts up front. Yeah. I left those just so we could tell how far, how much clearance we want with the blower. A little slow so we can start swinging. Oil filter hit, so we're probably going to need a remote mount for that oil filter. I just happened to have one on the shelf. Very nice. I don't think so. Can you reach out from there, do you think? Yeah, I'm just hoping there's no oil in it. Yeah, there's oil in it. Uh, towels. Uh, how about like that? Can we come down now? Uh, yes, sir. All right, yeah, let's try that. It's almost like the engine bay is slightly wider. It is. Because I'm now you're not. Now I'm not in. So it appears as though even though we are, I don't know if it's focusing. Not seated on this motor mount. Is there like a urethane piece they make for there? Like to space it out? That's a great question. I don't know. Well, you probably have all the probably one of those boxes. We have lots of boxes. But it is seated over here, meaning the width is either different or there is a couple pieces we are missing. I'm almost wondering if there's like a chunk of so something spacers, we're supposed to put on there. Yeah. It would make most sense for the spacers to go between this mount and the block. Raise it up just a little, Christmas. So we take the pressure off the, those bolts. A little more. So if we put it in the right way. If it fits, that's going to be amazing. Well, that's not quite what right. Krista, can you hold this? Hold it. Just hold this plate. Okay. I think we just learned that it's not going to fit. Yeah. It's not going to. Not going to fit. It's not that Damn. far off. Well, just saws all into here. So Why this, is this so far out? This has to go. The pulleys go in Yeah. Mm, I got it. The blower mounts external, so what we didn't account for was the so extra. So this bar wasn't here. Six or eight inches. Yeah. We'll, well just saws all through that bar. It's not important. It's not important. They just include it for looks. Structure is not important. Yeah. That's... So we need about half of where that bar is. You could probably notch it, but I mean, when the engine moves around. Why not just get rid of it at that point? Can you move it down here, though? Just that's to what have I was stability? thinking. Just to put that stability back in. So stability. what I'll do is take a picture. I can ask the factory five guys what I was thinking was take this bar out then mm -hmm. and just maybe gusset this here and if we really need a bar here can't we take this then to down here then it's not in the way at all mm -hmm. no, but I mean this bar to here is there gonna be enough room for piping even when well, even piping if you won't just come straight down we can put it in any direction we want now if we use that MMR piece wouldn't we just yeah you can right now you can clock the front of it can't you re clock this to just shoot straight and that way. might that might so, give you more room right so right it we would just need this like an l mm -hmm. but i mean if you reclock that because uh it's going to be thinner little, you're talking about thinner here yeah it's but thinner we there a lot of room don't we okay well maybe not let's try something all, all right. right so i reclocked i'm kind of playing with reclocking the outlet of the blower here but Which helps us a little bit. Not a lot. But this bar is still probably off by about that much. And even then, we'd have to have some way to get air into here. So it seems to me that this bar has to be moved. If it can be moved. Anything can be moved. Whether it should be moved is a question you might <laughs> should ask. <laughs> piece of equipment. Where is the, uh, where's the vendor charger? <laughs> is there a way for us to set this in here and take the weight off of this? Not really. Well, what about with a board? With a board, maybe. So, yes. Okay, so you want me to call Stacy? Yeah, because my phone's dead. Just tell her my phone's dead. I'm gonna, I'll be over there. I'll probably leave here in 20 minutes. All right, so that pretty much concludes day one of test fitting. Um, unfortunately, we also learned the transmission is too long unless he wants to be shifting with his elbow. So, yeah. Alright guys, so that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching.
be sure to subscribe if you want to follow along with this project. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you disliked it, and we will see you next time.